Hello everybody. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I hope some of my eyes look kind of glazed over. I've been watching uh, video updates on this uh, American Association of Cancer Research meeting all day and I'm kind of shot and I think you know Dr. Bones was kind of watching with me but he fell asleep he's been asleep for a while so we're not going to wake him and Mr. Mouse just conked out I think he I don't know if he was paying attention or not I think he just acted like it I think he's just passed out um, but who knows he's been getting better in terms of his uh, COVID and I think Dr. Bowens has been working pretty hard so he deserves a little nap so we'll leave him alone so today's really um, doing okay I think hope everybody is doing okay I'm just kind of getting a little um, nervous about whether we're going to open up or not and what's going to open up um, don't know. I, I personally kind of feel like we better wait until May 15th and see what happens in some of these other states that open up. Because I'm just afraid that things are really going to break out. And, you know, human beings are human beings, and it's hard to try to remain socially distanced from people and do the right things and not... Uh, transmit the virus and I just you know I, I just think back in uh, 2009 there were tons of H1N1 cases I think it was almost I don't know some people say up to 60 million people were infected I don't know if that's quite right uh, it's probably 40 million or so fortunately the mortality rate was very low so the death rate wasn't as great as it is with the current virus. For some reason, that one seemed to affect more people that were younger and kids and young people as opposed to older people. So it had a totally different uh, uh, problem back then in terms of people who got really sick with it. But this one, you know, fortunately the majority of people get sick and get over it, but for those that don't, the mortality rate is much higher than it was for H1N1 and higher than it is for regular flu. So there will be a lot more deaths. I mean, there's only been about a million cases in the U.S. and there's already 55,000 going on 60,000 deaths, which is um, it's just kind of scary, I would think. I'm just afraid when we open up that if the virus really starts to spread again, then we may be worse off, but I don't know. But uh, at least we, in Kansas City, with the mayor wanting us to hold off at least on May 15th, we at least have a couple of weeks to see what happens in the other states, because some of them opened up on Friday, so give them two weeks and we can kind of see what happens there. <clears throat> but like I tell everybody here, it's kind of like when I got my, when I tried to close the door, open the door on an elevator when it was closing, stuck my left arm and leg in, got them caught, but I'm still all right. So every few people have been wanting to hear a dad joke. That's a stupid one though, but it's a dad joke. So uh, we'll talk to you all later. Have a good day, a good night, and I'm not going to be watching the meeting tomorrow because it's over for now. I'll be busy doing other things. Uh, bye.